Hey, you hungry, Mom? I'm starving. My gosh, it's 20 to 7. It's late. It's you know, past I happy hour. eat at 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock. All right, this is my mother, Patricia Peterson. I'm Greg Hollenbag. This is the first edition of Vaccinated Granny. Here we are on historic South Gaylord at Reavers. We're going to go in and have some food with Vaccinated Granny. Are you vaccinated? I think so. You are? I am. Are you a granny? I am granny. You're vaccinated granny. Okay, you're going to see a series of videos where we go in and we just enjoy food with this lovely woman right here. Now, what is that too loud for you, that music? Well, I'll bear with it. All right, let's go in and find out. Well, you know, the restaurants today, you know, aren't like they were it used to be there. Hey, hey. Hi. All right. Uh, looking to get seated. Where do you want to sit? Um, I would have liked to sit outside, but they don't have it. So, and I don't know that they've got anything. There's nothing inside either. There's two tables right there. Oh. Is there a table out front or do you want to wait for something? You'll probably end up changing tables. You think? Probably. Yeah, I can switch you outside or something opens up. <laughs> yeah. I've come to make as much trouble as possible, you know. <laughs> isn't that what, isn't that what uh, seniors do? Where's your ideal seat? Seniors do. Yeah. <laughs> if you could sit anywhere in here, where would it be? Well, I think for our purpose today, Maybe one of those tables would be fine. Perfect. You guys can follow me. Cool. All right. All right. I'm starving. Have a seat. All right. Let's sit here. You want me to sit here? If you would. All righty. Oh. Take this honker off. Are you off. getting the shots you want? All right. God, I hate those masks. They make my nose run. All right. Okay, vaccinated granny, I know you're starving. I'm hungry too. How's the music? They turned it down, didn't they? I don't know. I think they did. We'll see. Um, our waitress is going to be coming up in just a minute, but what are you hungry for? You know, I was looking here. Yeah, that's one thing about restaurants, too. Uh, as you get older, you can't read the menus. You can't see it, that? So those QR cards, those QR co codes that... Well, I can't. You can't Most see Most of my friends Good have trouble with it. No, I know. And I think that's one thing that came out of COVID that was kind of a positive deal for the seniors of the world. As those QR things they put on the table, that, yeah, you take a picture of it and then it comes up on your phone and you can make it bigger. That's pretty slick. <laughs> well, and you know, that way you don't have to humiliate yourself yeah. as bad by saying, would you mind reading this for me? That's right. <laughs> that's right. So you got your water. Yeah. I think Steve, Steve Lemonitas is running around here somewhere. Stevie, what a cutie pie he is. Well, you know, I've been down here before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, last time I was here with my friend Ann, she she knew him really well. He was a good friend of her, her passed away husband. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really. I've never seen anybody laugh about that, but... Um, Okay, so music. Well, I wasn't fine. laughing about the fact that he was passed away. How about a drink? I, you don't have to think about that for a minute. Cause I, Are you feeling a drink or is it too late? Uh, let me think about it. Wine? Mm, no, no, no. What do you usually order? Oh, you know, my usual. Which vodka one? soda, squeeze of lime, vodka soda, and a squeeze of lime. <laughs> You'd think I already had a couple, wouldn't you? you think you haven't been out in a year. Well, well you haven't been. Well, I'm just getting back into it. <laughs> getting into the group. Yeah. Okay, right. so vodka, soda, squeeze of lime, just regular. You don't ask them to do anything special. Oh. Tall. tall. Oh, absolutely. Why do you like it It will tall? go back if it's not tall. Why do you like it tall? Because then you don't drink as much alcohol. Because you get those little teeny ones, you know, then you, you end up drinking four or five of them because it's not much. But you get these big ones, you know, then you can... What are you in the mood to eat tonight? Well, you know, I was looking at that green chili. I love green chili. And it, and it helps the next day. 
I'm sorry? And it helps the next day. Helps what? <laughs> do I have to spell it out? <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, okay, so green chili. What, what gener- you, so you play it safe? Because today is safe food, right? This is elevated bar food. Yeah. Yeah. And you're good with that. Well, that's usually what I do. Yeah. Happy hours at the bars. What do you usually stay away from? What do you mean? Oh, hey. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. How are y'all doing? Good. Ooh. This is Patricia. Patricia. Hi. I'm Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love your hair. Thank you. I oh like your lipstick. Oh, my God. That's hot. Sale. Stop it. You're looking great. Yeah. Great. Yes. I want to borrow your hair to go with my coat. Let's go. Let's do it. I'll chop off just half of it, and then you can <laughs> use the rest. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Megan. I'm Greg. Hi, Greg. Good to see you. Good to see She's you. She's usually not that friendly right off the bat, so you guys must have good chemistry. We, I, love I that. noticed. I, I have good chemistry. Which is good. Yeah. But you set the tip. bar high for yourself. Good. Okay. So We're only going up from here, I promise. Yeah. I can tell she's <laughs> got a good sense of humor. What do you want to drink? Okay. You twisted my arm. I'll have a vodka soda tall with two squeezes of lime. Sounds good. And what kind of vodka? Cheap. Cheap? Tito's or well? <laughs> what is well? Well is New Amsterdam. You know what? I've never found that you get you buy that fancy stuff that it tastes any different than the bar stuff when you put it in the in the soda water. With yeah, the with lime. all the lime. You're absolutely right. Yeah, and all you're doing is spending more money. So I'll just have it could to be a cleaner it. spirit, though. Yeah. It'll treat you a little it's bit true. better. But what do you mean? Well, yeah, but it's not like I'm going to drink a lot of them. Oh, you're not? Okay. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> you're just gonna I mean, this isn't an evening that I'm going to slop it I'm up. Or anything. Tonight's not the night. It's early, though, right? <laughs> yeah, well, honey. Last time we were here, one turned into five of them. <laughs> no. They Every did. time you I know, go out. Not. Any specials not. tonight? You know, he makes up We got up the prime stuff. rib. He makes up stuff about me. Does he? Do I? Can't trust no. nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Even <laughs> your children. <laughs> yeah, mine's five, and she, or about to be five. She already does that to me. She does that to you all the time. Yes. It's always throwing me under the bus. I know it's a di- <laughs> it's a disease. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Them damn kids. Take the lead. What do you think? Can you see? The I menu? think I'm going to have the uh, green chili bowl. Sounds good. Good choice. With, with uh, do you guys have pickled jalapenos? I do have pickled. Yep. Mm-hmm. I want some extra pickled jalapenos on it. Okay. And what what else do you put on it? It's just a green chili bowl, right? Right. So it's just green chili. Oh, you don't oh, and put cheese. It, would you cheese put on cheese it. on it? Mm-hmm. Cheese right. and green onions, I believe. Oh, deluxe. Yeah. Okay, so Fancy. now that we know that you want what you want, are you open to other different things? Cocktail and food wise? I know. Get you out of your comfort zone. Oh, uh, my God. So I'm going to order mind. for you. Now I know what you I, want. I know, but I, but I had my mind. I know. It's, I was planned. I planned this. <laughs> you have to plan ahead, Greg. You're out of your comfort zone. I'm not out of my comfort zone. Let's try some not. new food. What do you think? Okay. If she was to Let try something new, what would you say? Hey, you got to try this. Hmm. Let's start this over again. If, but, <laughs> like, uh, because I want to do the reverse psychology. Okay. Let's start this over again. All right. Okay. Um... I think I will have the prime rib. Great option. How do you like it cooked? We're gonna get something that you've never tried before. Prime rib's a great choice. Have you? Is oh, you've prime had rib it. Before. Yeah. See, I was trying to do the all reversal. <laughs> He's like, order prime rib. He'll go one. Well, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get you. Have you ever had a Philly um, cheesesteak egg roll? Great choice. Have you ever? Uh, I've, had, I've, had, I've had. Would you be open? I've had the same. Would you be open? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. But We're going to haggle over I... food and go grab that cocktail. Okay. And then do you have a, I think last time you had a Melvin beer on Yes, tap. Melvin Killer Beast. you still have that? Mm-hmm. I'd love that. 14 or 25? Uh, 25. 25, <laughs> duh. And we'll get her vodka. <laughs> and we'll start with the Philly egg rolls. Uh, yeah, we'll cool. start with the Philly and egg rolls. And then I can have my green chili. Maybe. Maybe. You debate on. Thanks, Megan. I got you guys. I'll be back. Appreciate it. Of course. That was good. Why why do you do that for me? Need what? Why do you do that to me? Just good content. If you get what you want to get, then that's not going to be any good. So. Philly egg roll sounds good. How about. um, How can you go wrong with a Philly? So Steve would recommend the hummus. Do you like hummus? Meat hummus. You would not eat hummus with my mouth. Why? Do you know what hummus is? Yes. What? Smoosh garbanzo beans. <laughs> and you're not up for that? Uh-uh. No? Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I've eaten it before. You but, always talk about I, deviled eggs, right? You want to try their deviled eggs? 
No. And also, they're known for their wings. I want the green chili. You do? I do. Maybe we'll send you home with green chili. <laughs> How about short rib stroganoff? Well, that sounds good. Would you split a couple of things with me? Sure. You would? Now we're talking. When you go out to eat, do you usually split things with people? Will you do that? Are you open to that? Oh, sure. You are? As long as they don't spin it. <laughs> you would, you would <laughs> hope that they wouldn't. What else looks like on the menu that you're like, okay, I will not try that? Hey. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Brother Luck from Lucky Dumpling, for by Brother Luck in Colorado Springs, and I am rocking with the Modern Eater. You're watching them, you're tasting them, you're knowing everything there is to know about Colorado. <laughs> Hi, Charlie from Brews Beers here. Our new Belgian Abbey Four Pack is a mixed package of the four core beers made in Abbey and Trappist breweries in Belgium. So we have a single, a double, a triple, and a quadruple in one package. Now, quadruples are the emperors of Belgian monastery ales. They're dark in color uh, with a dense tan head and alcohol ranging from 8 to 12%. So they're pretty strong. Quadruples are very rich and complex with big maltiness, uh, spice, and flavors of raisins, cherries, and plums. Alcohol is apparent in the mouthfeel, but not overwhelming. Uh, even at 10.5% ABV. So the finish is long, complex, and dry, and they're great beers anytime, by themselves or with hearty foods. Pick up your Abbey Four Pack at either Brews location, 67th and Pecos, or at Colfax and York, and at fine liquor stores throughout the Denver metro area. Take home some Belgian-style badassery today. the outtake version. <laughs> What's up, Denver? I am Chef Natasha Hess, and this is Chef Carrie Baird, and we are at the Ginger Pig. Check us out, gingerpig.com. You can also see us on the moderneater.com. Thanks, everybody. It's cornstarch. I know. It's cool. Right now, let me tell you about Jeff Rourke and A-Plus Beverage Solutions. He's the man with the plan. When it comes to tap installations and tap maintenance, Jeff Rourke is the most trusted man in the business. 20-plus years, family-owned and operated, does great work, and you might be knocking the rust off of your bar or restaurant and getting things tuned back up. He's the guy to call. If you're pouring in efficient beer, Jay, what are you doing? You're pouring your money down the drain. Uh, money. Don't do that. Uh, foam is money. Get a hold of Jeff Rourke, A-plus beverage solutions. Tell him what you need done. He'd be happy to come out and just take a look for you. Here's the phone number to give him a call, 720-272-3809. One more time, 720-272-3809. It's Jeff Rourke and A-plus beverage solutions. Okay. All right, y'all. The party's starting. Thank you. Ooh, You're very party welcome. Started. Here's Let's some get plates. That party started. Yes. Now we, we've been debating this. Yes. Did you turn the music down? Yes, I told Santi to, but See, it sounds loud you. again. I don't think they did. I was like, I Santi might have She said he, they did. Okay. She. Oh yeah. yeah. The placebo. Effect. Like I said, he could have. He could have forgot. It wouldn't have surprised me. No, I'm just kidding. She, I'll remind him. She. No, you don't need to. We're good. She thinks it's better. Go with it. <laughs> Go with it's it. The different the songs, you know. Oh, I see. <laughs> I think it's the bass that's how now you you're feeling. It. That's how you treat older people. Yeah, you go, oh, yeah, we did. And that's like, oh. like getting that's like getting a pat on your head, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what did we get here? She's like, now it's a good song. This is the Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Woo, that looks good. Isn't it? Oh, look at this. As he lives and breathes. <laughs> Steve yeah. Lemonade. It's good, right, to, see good to see you. You remember Mama? Mama, how are you? Hi, it's good to see good you to see again. You. First edition yeah. of Vaccinated Granny. Very nice. Yeah, Annie said say hi. Well, absolutely say uh, hi right back. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Meg. We'll hit yeah. you up. In I'll a be back in just a few minutes, though. I should have had her come with us. We should have. Yeah, but she, she takes my thunder. No one could ever take your thunder. <laughs> yeah. No one could ever take your thunder. <laughs> Talk about this menu. Let's talk about it. First of all, tell us about Reavers for a minute. It's obviously South Gaylord's 
been they, a staple on the block for, yeah. forever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we uh, just went through a menu update on St. Patty's Day. So what you're seeing is uh, a year in the in the works to finally get done. Um, did a little major update uh, with the decor. Places uh, looks great. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It needed a little bit of an update, but yeah, we're pretty proud of it. And You've been kicked out of here a couple of times. I think the statue of limitation. <laughs> Statue of Back in my youth. Back in youth. Me and Ann. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I got to talk to the people that kicked you out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. I've been beating to come back and tell you, you need to scold those Well, people. welcome back, my <laughs> All right. Um, she doesn't like Greek food. Fight her. What? Ugh. What don't you like about Greek food? I don't. I just don't care. Because you probably haven't had good Greek food. I'm not. Well, let's see if I can come up with a special. I'm not crazy about Greek olives. That's fine. I'm not crazy about uh, the green stuff you wrap in. The dolmadas, the grape leaves. The grape leaves. That's fine. Not crazy about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, you don't like hummus. Why? Uh, you yeah, don't I, like hummus either? I don't like... Uh, I mean, you could eat it, but I find it to be pretty tasteless. I'm okay. going with you, Steve. I think she just hasn't had good Greek food. I think she hasn't had good Greek food. So, with are that, you, are sample you Greek? some with me? Are you Greek? I'm very Greek. Are you really? <laughs> I'm very well, Greek. Well, okay, start over again. <laughs> okay. Do I like Greek food? Oh, I think it's fabulous. <laughs> God, you didn't warn me about that, Greg. <laughs> you know, I don't even think I could top the, that, wait, that reaction. <laughs> that, was, that, was per, that was priceless, Greg. Right? Cut. I might, yeah. <laughs> I might have to sit down for this one. <laughs> What can I get you guys? Okay, have a seat. Let's talk about Greek food Absolutely. for a second. Steve, I love the menu always, and you do such a great job inside the Vibe Restaurant Group. Thank you. I don't know. How would you describe your menu? I say elevated bar food. How, what, how would you? Uh, I'd like to call it Americana. Okay. I'll go bar with you Bar food, on that. I don't know. Just that term for some reason just doesn't do it, it for doesn't me. It doesn't do it for me. Because a lot uh, of people seek out bar food. They do. <laughs> um, no, I think this is true Americana. I mean, uh -huh. it's updated, elevated, however you want to use that sure. word. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit, it's all over the place. So this is in her crease. You love Americana food, right? Stuff that's predictable that, you know, that's. Oh, yeah. I'm and not winning any points well, you with know, either of you Back guys. in my day, I was, I was raised more on your meat and potatoes and vegetable. Okay. You know, your good farm girls kind of stuff. Sure. So now we've gotten to a generation where the chefs, you know, do all this stuff that I don't I don't get attracted to it because I'm afraid of what might be in it. Gotcha. <laughs> well, bottom line is really? it's different strokes for different folks. Yeah. yeah, it was like last last night we went to I won't name the restaurant of course, but Ann and, and Carol and I went and it was like, I looked at the menu, and it was like, what am I going to do? Sure. And then I looked at the prices, and I said, you've got to be joking. <laughs> you got to be <laughs> joking. So she wanted the green chili. Okay. She, her heart was set on it. I said, we're going to try something different. So we started with this. The egg rolls. Philly yeah, cheesesteak egg, cheese egg rolls. Let's give them a shot. What'd I did think? already. What did you think? They're good. Is that what you would do? You can tell the truth. There's a little bit of au jus. Yeah. Mm. Rit the creamy I'm horse radish. I'm trying to fi figure out what's in it. Oh, it's cheese and... It's a cheesesteak and an egg roll. Right. What's the red stuff? This is genius. Peppers. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's Because that's what a Philly has. Well, it sure does. Yeah, but they normally put green. Well, we like red. We're doing it our own way. Hey, hey give me a mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this is mom's show, actually. It's delicious. Yeah. They're good. They're very good. He thinks I'm going to be a star. I think you already are. Yeah, he wants. To, uh, you know, I was. I was sort of like, ah, I don't know about that. He wants to call it COVID Granny. No, I don't. Oh, not COVID. A vaccinated Granny. Vaccinated. She's granny. out on the hunt. I think In it's fact, great. I'm trying to come up with a jingle. Okay. Vaccinated Granny on the move. Vaccinated Granny's in the groove. Vaccinated Granny. Off the recliner, vaccinated granny in the diner. We could figure something out with right, that, right? right? Vaccinated granny. Or becoming a diner <laughs> yeah, again. And somehow or another, he seems to think I have a personality that he's going to make me a star. Like Steve said, know. you're already you're the already star. The you star. just needed the microphone. Oh, you, you tell all the girls that. <laughs> 
you're already the star. You are. <laughs> yeah. You tell all the girls. She loves to flirt with you. I love flirting back. <laughs> I know. It's funny. <laughs> My wife was here the other day, too, with Ann, and they were a little worried about us flirting. Interaction? I, I know your wife didn't give a shit. She was a little worried. Oh, she wasn't. No. <laughs> what was your thing that you used to do? It used to embarrass me as a kid. She'd oh, go. yeah, 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 yeah. Kiss me. <laughs> Lower. <laughs> I felt. And then it got and real you know low. What? And you know what was really interesting about that? What's that? Is they would. They'd go lower. I get it. Yeah. And then there were those few occasions where I thought, this is a worthwhile one. And I go, lower. <laughs> no, I just made that up. I just made it. Drink. I, yeah, I, I just made that up. <laughs> I, I highly Woo. doubt. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cleanse. Mental, <laughs> like a mental. <laughs> That's right. So uh, back to the menu. Back to the menu. <laughs> uh, so am I supposed to be funny in these things? Oh, yeah, you already are. Like, But I'm saying I could. You you know, I think you're do doing it naturally. You do whatever you want. Well, I am, but I'm saying maybe he wants go. me to be more granny. -like. Okay, so what do we need to make sure she tries Greek-wise here? Well, I think uh. the hummus for sure. It's my mother's recipe. Okay. So um, and she just rolled her eyes. Uh, see? <laughs> uh, the hummus is fantastic. Be, be respectful. I I didn't say a word. All right. And I turned my head when I rolled mine. What else is must have? Uh, the gyros is fantastic. If I you want to do a gyro sandwich. Um, the Greek salad. Your wings but are, you, are, are, the wings are, are they're out there smoking right now, yes, probably. They sure are. Smoker, right? You sure love are. wings. How's the green chili? I love our green chili. I know. See? She, See, I'm a real fan of I green I love chili. our green chili. It is not. So if you're expecting a lot of kick, it's moderate. It doesn't have a lot of Yeah, but I can always it. add uh, Absolutely. jalapenos yeah. on it. Absolutely. Do you do it to go? Of course. So if Greg won't let me have it to eat, I can. you could sneak me some out so I can take it home? Absolutely. Oh, there you go. So here's the plan. You know, the only problem is, do you have a container I can put it down my in my coat pocket or down my pants so nobody knows? <laughs> well, in like a freezer bag? <laughs> You're not stealing it. We're going to buy it. We're going to buy it. Okay, so I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the hummus. Okay. We're going to go do the um, You're back BLT. The You're you back wanted the BLT. No, I said next time I come now. That you did say that. You BLT. Not See, this just goes to show you how picky I am. That's okay. I'm That's okay. I have it next time I come. Hummus. But I'm bringing wing. my own Miracle Whip. Definitely. The I agree with you. I'd rather have Miracle Whip. Uh, really? BLT. See, I can't talk to either one of you guys. Why? <laughs> Real mayonnaise all the way. Oh well. Who I, has Miracle I'm Whip? I'm surprised that I raised you. <laughs> I'm surprised. I, I don't think I ever had mayonnaise in the house. Your pick's the hummus. The hummus. For My sure. pick is the wings, and your pick is. Oh, now you're gonna let me have the yep. green chili. No. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not. <laughs> I'll put it to go. <laughs> yeah, really. Shit, I can't win. Can I'll I? get you. To, I'll get How you about the care, short promise. rib, short rib stroganoff? Oh, to die for. It is fantastic. Are you sharing? Oh yeah. But this, you're having what? We're all sharing. What what are you having? Everything. Are you having? Did you? You're having. I'm gonna have some wings. Oh. I'm gonna have some hummus. You ordered wings too. We ordered wings, hummus, and short rib. Short you like knife. Brussels sprouts? You like what? Do you like Brussels sprouts? No. Because you haven't it, had good no. Brussels sprouts. Make you big? Is that what you said? Oh, make you gassy. Yeah, yeah. You live alone. I know, but it's still. It comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad we came here today. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take this. <laughs> Grab a hey. drink and join us, would you? I will. All right, no, well. I mean, what the hell? Do you guys all think that cause, because we get old, we lose our sense of humor? This is great. Uh, at Reavers with Vaccinated Granny. This is my mom, Patricia Peterson. I'm Greg Hollenbeck. Steve Limonidis. We're having a great time out and about. I'm surprised that you'll even admit to it. What? <laughs> that we're out and about? No, that I'm your mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh. That way. <laughs> Steve. Yes. Send Megan over for us. I will be. I and, will have her over in a second. And then I'd love to join you in a shot of tequila. 100%. You know, okay. she's cute. She's fantastic. Steve, she's will you put mine in a rocks glass and not chilled? <laughs> <laughs>
Done. That'd be great. Done. Don Julio. Don't, last time. Don't give him. He's driving. Do you mind if I bring over a couple more appetizers? Do what you'd like to do. I'm going to no. bring a couple more. No, 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 no. He wants to show I'm the food. I'm trying to get my figure back. You, you have a great figure. You got a great figure. Yeah, well, I won't after this. Well, just look at it. Just stare at it. But I can take it home. You can take it home. I'll be right back. Thanks. There you go. Hey guys, Alex Armitas over at Sam's Number 3 Glendale. You want a Bloody Mary? You want a cheeseburger? You want a breakfast burrito? Greek salad? Bacon gyro meat? Chicken souvlaki? Barbecue ranch salad? We got you covered. Come down and see us. One more time. Try it again. Hey guys, Alex Armitas over here at Sam's Number 3 Glendale. Now get your ass to themoderneater.com. Thank you so much. Modern Eater, we love you guys. This is Amber with Northern Colorado Potatoes, reminding everyone that potatoes grown here are truly rooted in love and rooted in a long history of being grown in this area. Early 1900s reports show that this was either the largest or one of the largest potato producing areas in the nation. Other states have had some amazing branding, but don't forget we have all your favorite varieties and more you love to cook and eat, including russets. Support local potatoes, you won't be disappointed. Hey guys, it's Caroline Glover. I'm the chef owner of Annette out at Stanley Marketplace. Citrus is about to be in its prime. And you're watching the Modern Eater Show. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Making education cool again, Jay. You know how? Culinary Quick Start Program. We are in love. They're using Studio Kitchen Colorado Monday through Thursday. If you have any desire to get into culinary or you're just sharpening your skills, I'm telling you, these guys, Chef Blake, Chef Marcus, they're instructing a course, and I've been there the past couple of nights, and this course is cool. It's informative, it's innovative, and it has the modern eater touch on it. You can tune into this as well, but you have to sign up for the course. If you go to themoderneater.com, you'll see it on the top navigation bar. It's a drop down. Emily Griffith Culinary Quick Start. All of the stuff that we're doing and sign up information is right there for you. It's a gimme. It's free to you. It's like the cooking classes you pay for, don't pay for them anymore. You just sign up and what is the best part of this thing? We got jobs for you. The troops are rallying, the community's getting together and there's a baseline. So restaurants, if you wanna get involved, you're a restaurant tour, you can get involved because we need you and you to support this program with your skills. So what does that entail? This entails getting together and having a job seminar for these students. It's going to be a baseline. You need a baseline of knowledge for your students where when they come in, you know they're going to be able to handle a line in a kitchen. So get involved. If you have any interest in signing up and being a student for this class, you can't get in on this three weeks, but the following three weeks you can get in on. Again, sign up, themoderneater.com. You'll see Emily Griffith Culinary Quick Start. But we want you to join the revolution of making education cool again. Okay, back to Elevation Food Service reps. Well, we got some snacks coming out for you guys. A little surprise. Oh, my God. Did you get her out of her comfort zone? We did I think something? so. I think well, we're going to no. order. The ordered hummus. And no, we haven't ordered anything. Yeah, yet. we haven't got, oh. got it going yet. Ready? I was going to say, I'm going to pick him. <laughs> you don't know that. It's like with me, Mom, I hated mushrooms as a kid, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, I and still peas. hate water chestnuts. Uh, yeah, same. Mm -hmm. yeah. And peas. You hate peas. peas. But now I like I mushrooms and I like casserole. blue cheese. So maybe hummus will be like that. How long did that take? Because I'm 25, almost 25, and I still don't like blue cheese. But yeah, I tried it. Almost 25. When was the last time you revisited it? 
Not too long ago, I tried to put my buffalo wings and in it. Like it. Ago. No. Still terrible. Ours isn't too bad because it's not very, it's not that strong blue cheese. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So it's okay. But to be nice. 25 again. I, well, it'd be get, what would you do with 25? Be, yeah. Get back, Jack. Get back. Be well, I was pretty much up. get back, Jack, with me all the time. Anyway, but I, now that I've been through 76 years of life, yeah. and I, if I were going to go back and relive it, what would you do? I hear 30 I the mean, best. I mean, I mean. Okay, ready to order? Let's do it. I th I thought you already had it all. We I have had. an idea of what we wanted. I to told do. him what I wanted, and he told me I couldn't have she it. She wants no. green chili. Your green chili, We're yes. sending that Pickled. to go. Okay. Okay. Pickled jalapenos. Yeah. We'll do that at the end. She wanted to put that in a Ziploc baggie and have Steve put it down her pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Girl, I'll keep it warm. <laughs> well, I, because I thought I was going to have to sneak it out because of Greg. Okay. You're fine. <laughs> We're not stealing it. We're buying it. <laughs> You'll be okay. I so I it. thought, well, if Greg won't let me have it, can you believe that? No, what a day. You know, when you get older like that, <laughs> your kids start acting like they're I'm parents. just hoping you'll forget. You know? You're like, it doesn't I, matter I, 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 I sense another 10 years of payback. Megan, she'll we'll forget about the hummus. Don't put it in. At the end of the dinner, she'll be three of those drinks in, and she won't even know hummus existed. She's like, I'm just ready for bed. I heard what you said. I know. Oh, you She's like, I can hear you. So All we're right. going to do the hummus. We're going to do the and chicken wings. Why did wings. you say I okay. wouldn't remember that? I'm, I, you know, I'm, I am having losing You forgot words. who Steve was. Well, I do have <laughs> trouble with names. I do have names. <laughs> so yeah. do I. It's and okay. I do sometimes lose my words, but I'm not gone yet. So we'll just call hummus Greek salsa. I like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smart. I like that, that. That'll trick my ass. And we're going to try the short rib stroganoff. Ooh, great choice. Three things that we... Yes. And how many wings are we doing? Six or 12? Um, we'll, we'll, well, well, for we'll having the stroganoff... Do 12 and you can split it. Yeah. Like two sauces. What sauces are we doing? Yes. Yes. Do you want me to pick it? <laughs> Let me pick it. I got you guys. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Just put them wherever, bud. What do you think of deviled eggs? I love deviled Tuna eggs. Tuna tartar. Oh, jeez. This will so trip good. her out. What's that? Tuna, Tuna tartar. tartar. It's Not the best chance. thing. Don't ask questions. Just eat it. Okay. Trust me on that. <laughs> Megan, <laughs> get her to eat it. You can eat this right now. You, you're you the one who has to walk her into this. I got it. So just break off some wonton and just scoop her up. It's delicious. I promise. You'll love it. Give All it right. a shot. I'm going to ring in everything you else. you want to see her reaction to this? I do. I gotta, I'm just going to peek at this okay. guy. I, why I'll be is watching, don't worry. Why is it green? Is the fish rotten? That's It's just avocado. Oh, it's yeah. avocado. Oh, okay. Well, it's I'll delicious. You'll love it. I'll do that. I'll be right back. What's the red stuff? Tartar. Tuna. And it's raw, isn't it? Take a cracker. <laughs> Take a cracker. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Now it's probably very light. It's very probably bright and crisp. What do you think? Well, I can tell you one thing. It is pretty good because with the avocado, you don't taste the tuna. You don't want to taste the tuna? Well, you you, you don't really taste the tuna. So it covers that raw fish taste up. Hey, Jay, do you want a bite, honey? Why not? It's good for you. It's good for you. How come he can't sit down? Try an egg. I love it. I love eggs, so that's not an issue. And the only thing is, don't film film that because I'll stick that in my mouth all at once. <laughs> well, we want to see that. <laughs> no, you know I'm I'm not delicate when it comes to eggs. You know. Get it. Hmm. <laughs> She was not looking forward to it. I, I could see the look on her face, actually. Yeah. What do you think? Actually, the interesting part about it is, is that the avocado is so good. The guacamole, yep. That you don't taste the raw fish. Yeah. Do you taste the fish? It's bright. It's yeah. very delicious. It's the ponzu sauce and the You know, sauce. I got to start learning all these words. 
Like what? Right? Fresh and bright and, you know. Farm food. I want to watch You know fresh. Okay, describe that. Well, I know, but when it when it is like, like I'm fresh verbally. Cheers. Different definition. Salute. Salute. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, thanks. Salute. Salute. Happy Mother's Day. Salute. Um, and talking about Mother's Day, you wanted to go buy flowers and stuff and plant them? Yeah. I think I would prefer to go buy a mattress. Okay. And save the flowers for the end of the month when we get back from Santa Fe. That's a deal. It's a deal. Talk about the eggs. You love. I them. thought he was going to make some big ass joke about me wanting a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I love the yeah. I love the presentation on these eggs. Yeah, are those too, fantastic? Man. Yeah, with the with the I like I like radishes. You, yeah, you like the radish. I do. I'm two for two. What are you putting down here to make them stand up straight? It's a little That's bit a little of the, bit of the egg. Yeah, yeah. Creative as hell. She's going back in. I love it. Now somewhere or another, something here has got a real snap to it. Heat. The paprika. Ensemble. Huh? It's the sambal, and then this is um, uh, sriracha. Oh, okay. and that's not the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are these little greeny things? Green onions. Okay. I've been trying to watch a lot more um, food shows, like I watched uh, Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. Uh, Ramsey. Yeah. It, just to start learning more about preparation of food. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and different kinds of foods and what you put together. Because, you know, I I am really confused and have no clues about spices. Okay. You know? And, and when do you So, them? consequently, you I eat my food pretty plain. Because mm-hmm. I, where I come from, I, I like to, like, if I'm going to have a pork chop, mm-hmm. I don't want, I want to taste the pork. I don't want to taste sure. a bunch of... You know, whatever. Well, as long as it's seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper, a little yeah, bit of olive yeah. oil. Right. I think you're in good shape. But I also think that, you know, maybe that's because I've never had it that way before. You should come here on Saturday. I've got a great pork chop special on Saturday night. Oh, do you? Do. What kind of spices do you put on it? We'll do a little salt and pepper. We'll marinate it in a little bit of soy sauce, too, overnight. Ooh. And then when we finish it on off the grill, it's got a bacon, apple, onion, jam on top of it. That is to die for yeah, well, that's that's interesting because I do like Asian spices. Okay. Um, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily go. Ooh, I want to go have Chinese food tonight. True, and it doesn't have but that I, much soy sauce in it. Right, but I do like the, what is it? Biogi? Is it called biogi? Noki. And what, the flavoring. Oh, <coughs> of what? Of uh, the Chinese beef that they marinade, biogi. Wagyu? No, no, no. Like, I got some at um, Trader Joe's, and it was really good. Really thin sliced meat. I think it's Wagyu. Wait. No, Wagyu's a type of beef, isn't it? Right. That's funny. I got a great Wagyu story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when someone starts Star with, I got a wait, great Wagyu story, I'm going to listen. What is it? Oh, of course. I had no idea what Wagyu was. And evidently, it's a beef that's... You know, more expensive sure. than normal. And there's a restaurant in Cherry Creek who really touted the fact that they um, served Wagyu. Right. So I knew the chef. So, of course, one night, you know how that goes. I had a couple of drinks. And you always speak up a little bit more when you... So I said, well, you know, what the hell is this Wagyu shit? You know, and you're charging all this kind of money. And probably nobody even knows what a Wagyu is. Yeah. Well, so now today I'm kind of embarrassed about about that fit I threw because now I know what Wagyu is. It's the name of an expensive beef. That's From your Japan, story? isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's funny. That was with Preston. Oh, was it? Yeah. Preston, you know, he really touted that that was... Would you order this again? Uh, Probably not. Why not? Just not use eat some. Well, it's like uh, I don't have a craving for it. You might. But the bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich with Miracle Whip? Yeah, that's another story. (laughs) (laughs) Did we order the hummus? 
So we need to do that without the uh, olive tapenade, correct? Because you don't like black olives. Oh, I like black olives. You don't like, oh, you don't like Kalamata olives. There you gotcha. go. Gotcha. Well, they're right. okay, but you know, it's not like I'm going to... You know, it's funny. I love olives. I do too. You know, the, the interesting thing is that I've traveled a lot with Anne. We went to Europe and stuff. Right. You know, that woman will eat anything. Yeah. Anything. And I'm real picky. And I have another bad habit. What's the other bad habit? I have to smell my food before I eat it. You have to what? You've got to smell our food. food. It's not a bad habit. Well. Half of your taste is in your nose. She gives me shit for that. Don't let anybody give you shit. Well, I don't so much anymore. Give it back. I do. There you go. Look at this place. I would expect nothing less. What is it, a Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday? Mm -hmm. Thursday night. Thursday night. Place is running like a top. Just sanitized up the booth. People are happy, eating, drinking. The patio's fantastic. There's a nice vibe. Totally a great vibe. Yeah. Why do people like to eat raw fish? Because it tastes good. Depends on the fish. Is that safe? There are sushi-grade Correct. fish. Correct. Yeah. You're talking about bacteria and that type of thing, worms. Yeah. Well, parasites. I can tell you. I can tell you one thing. With uh, vaccinated granny. Yep. We're not going to sushi dance. That means next time we're going to sushi. <laughs> you just picked your next restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't even know it. <laughs> oh, all right. Listen, the minute you see me going to put my foot in my mouth, uh-huh. pinch me. Done. You'd be sore, right? <laughs> Already, you'd be sore. I'm surprised you're going in for second and third. I know. You may not want to admit it, but I think you like it. She's hungry. It's because it's 20 to 8, and I'm usually eat, used to eating about 4. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I probably, I probably eat anything. I'll eat your arm. She's keep eating it. Like, Go ahead. Did you order that again? No, as she's eating another bite and another bite. And another I knew it. I met one person that doesn't like that. It is so good. I'm afraid I'll get some worms or something for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all Steve's fault. <laughs> Just blame it on me. Well, isn't that true? Isn't that yeah, true? I mean, that bad fish you will eat give things, you parasites. You eat, yeah, for sure. And I have enough. We and, call them our little friends. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I got enough problems. I don't need worms. <laughs> we can deworm you. No problem. Oh, is there medication for yeah. that? Yeah, there's medication for that. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Why, oh, that's right. How's the other bar doing? Bar's doing great. Yeah. It really is. Don't We're you have spankies too? It's part of our group, correct. Right. Yep. See, I was telling no, he's you. he's got his own bar. Because I remember John Minson used yeah. to come, Uncle come John. down. Yeah. Yeah, I used to come down to Spanky's yep. all the time. Yeah. Where was Spanky's at? Over on uh, Evans. Evans and Williams. Oh, so right by. Right by DU, right across from the stadium. In. So. Yeah. Yeah, Uncle John was one of my favorite people in the world. Why do you call him Uncle John? Out of respect. What, 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 what um, guy stuff. Because I never called him Mr. Menson. I think yeah. he beat the crap out of me if I ever called him that, and I, and I never wanted to call him John. So Why? I well, you know, my favorite word for him was, well, no, I won't say it. Turn the, turn the video off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I can I don't think you and I need to say a word <laughs> at all, or wherever you're we going from here on out. Yeah. The star right That's here. That's it. She's got it all. I know. I, but I suppose if I said it, you could cut it out. Yeah, you cut everything out. <laughs> Say whatever you want to. Oh, I see. So I'm just having fun tonight, huh? Yeah, you're just having fun. Eating eggs and <laughs> no filter. having fun. No filter. <laughs> oh, well, that's terrible. No filter vaccinated granny. And you know, that's a nice thing about being my age. So you don't need any filter. What do I need a filter for? Where'd I, you go to I mean, I, at this point in my life, I couldn't embarrass myself any more than I haven't before. There you go. Uh, we were down in Playa, Del Carmen. I thought I had a big watch. Mm. Make mine look I'm good. always late. It's an, access- girl. It's an accessory. <laughs> Yours, it doesn't work? No, it works. But it's an accessory? It's an accessory. Mine too. Here's my watch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> What's that? Just a watch I love. Just it's a piece of yeah. men's jewelry type of stuff. A cheap one that doesn't work? Mine does not tell time. 
Oh, it doesn't? I mean, it could if I, like, put a battery, battery. in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. An important part of the yeah. equation. Yeah. Nobody taught you but to. If, I mean, who, who doesn't just go right. 740 sure. or whatever, you know? Yeah, we were down in Playa for seven days. That's amazing. Yeah. That's cool. Fantastic. Eat, drink, have fun. Eight, drink. Playa? Del Carmen, yeah. Oh. Ah. Good time with my wife. That's why days. you're so tan. Well, the sun likes me a lot. Does it? It really does. Well, that and you it embarrassed likes- him. Huh? You embarrassed him. Ten shades darker. <laughs> did I? I did. Do I have to? Do I need to apologize? He's shy. Yeah, I'm really shy. <laughs> do I need to apologize? Not yet. Never. Never. <laughs> never apologize. Right. Always apologize. Is there going to be a sign yeah. on the? Is there going to be a sign on the front door that says, <laughs> "Pat Peterson, 86"? Again? Again. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he knows. She can't come in here again. Oh my God. Reavers gosh. never forgets. <laughs> yeah, Reavers never forgets. Yeah. Yeah. Reavers <laughs> never forget. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Before? So if I sneak, see you sneak around and take my picture, I'm in trouble. Now, this is a pretty special thing. This is the first edition of Vaccinated Granny. First I'm honored to be a part of it. <laughs> On behalf of Reavers, this we're is, honored to be a part of this it. This is going to be raw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure that by the time they get through editing it, you know. You'll be, sitting at, coffee, you'll be sitting at a coffee. You'll be sitting at a coffee shop somewhere. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Being very genteel. That's right. Dainty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Behavior. Yeah. <laughs> Doing afternoon tea yeah. with my little tea. No hatches. laughing. Yeah. No yeah. laughing. <laughs> that's right. Do you go out and eat much? We don't go out to eat all that much. Yeah. You know, my wife and I have different schedules, so. Mm-hmm. When I'm done, when we get that time That's at home, it. we're at home. We're cooking at home. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we don't go out to eat all that often. You're Which is a shame because there's so many great restaurants in town. There are some. Yeah. Yeah, so. I think so, too. Yeah, I'm really concerned about uh, the fact that it's getting to the point where you, help is hard to find. It is because, very difficult. Yeah, because they can make more money off of unemployment. Yeah. Or during COVID, they found other means of income. Yeah, only fans. Huh? We're gonna start you, are you that. having are you having fun trouble finding help? We're having a very difficult time finding help. He's got yeah. good, good people working for him. Solid people. Yeah. Yeah, well that's I think that's what's really important. Well is what you had before you went in. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Because that helped you come out. Very true. Yeah. Very, very true. Yeah, we're trying to anticipate the uh, the full opening here soon, so we're we're trying to staff up just like everybody else is, and we're, we're running in the same roadblocks that everybody else is as well. You could probably retain the staff now to open a few more places in between, the tables in between. Absolutely. Don't you think? Yeah. Absolutely. But the concern is burnout at the same time. So, you know, we're trying to get uh, some more staff. Do you pull tips? We do not pull tips. I'd work here in a heartbeat just knowing that. Yeah, we do not pull tips. All right, so, is that the whole thing now that? Everybody's going to t- tip pool. Well, so did you see that article yeah, that I did. we wrote? Oh, I you shared read it. That? Yeah, I shared um, that that sparked some stuff with restaurant employees. They're like, "Hey, man, you you dropped us twice. Right. We sat on the bench. We had to find other hustles. What the hell here? Right. We're making more money on the bench. The business promotes shitty hours. Right. Uh, and the only reason why we put up with all the shit that comes along with the business is we, we we could make some good money. Sure. Good, fast money. Now, we can't make money because it's all spread out everywhere and some operators suck. True. So if we find a position that serves us, right. we'll go back to it. Right. But a lot of people don't know what situations. Well, I, it's like this time of the year, typically, yeah. like we're getting flooded with applications. Yeah. I'm sure like everybody is in the industry. And we're just not seeing them. I mean, I've had more people sign, you know, call for interviews to get interviews set up that truly do not show up. In all the years that I've been in the business, I've never seen this happen. Really? Uh, ever. Ever. And it's just to have something to write on a piece of paper? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, you know, to check off a box. With Did you think that article was spot on? I thought it was fantastic. And it was dead spot on. And actually, Maybe you ought to look at hiring um, seniors and giving them half a shift. Would you show a nipple? Would I show a nipple? <laughs> yeah, you know. let me go back to this <laughs> piece again. <laughs> he's, he's the one that said it. I just know what'll get edited out. <laughs> if it's that extreme, Jay won't put that in there. Yeah. Right. I mean, who knows? <laughs> well, the bad part about it is, is that 
if the tip's good, I might. Right. Yeah. You know. And that's what tips should do. People that command their sections and they put on a good performance sure. and put out good food, they should be tipped accordingly and be able to keep it. 100%. You know? But 100%. my point is, is maybe you're missing out on a generation that could probably use the money. I bet Steve would actually consider you. When do you want to start? <laughs> yeah, I bet he would. Actually, I'd work for you. Well, would, would you let her be a I'd hostess? I'd work for you. Oh, please. Steve, would you let her be a hostess? 100%. I think so, too. Have to be the ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to create a new position. You want to work part-time? Three hours a well, week? Well, let me think about it. I might. I'd be a damn good host. <laughs> I think you'd be fantastic. I know. You'd you know, and if I could work just like a lunch. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not putting in no 10 hours. You can't have a shift drink, though. <laughs> you are. Oh, dead. I wouldn't want a shift drink. You wouldn't? No, 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 no. You'd want two or three? Absolutely. I still, you know, my sense of humor gets better as I drink more. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know. Like all of us. Meg. <laughs> but, Come you know, on, Meg. <laughs> at noon, if I'm not drinking, I can be pretty professional. I went, this is hospitality, though. When was the last time you worked in hospitality? Oh, uh, we've got some more food. Right, got some more food. Oh, my God. Here we go. All right, what, you be careful. Let me take this out of the way. <laughs> Hot, hot, hot. You know, hot, hot, hot. That's Greg, you know I've never. Off. I, oops, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. oh, put that right in front of her. Let's make, there we go, Mama. <laughs> Stare dead There we go, Mama. They're Come. calling it the Greek salsa. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Like so we got um, sweet and spiced sesame and hot honey. And hot, thank Give it a try. Perfect. All right. And then um, the stroganoff. Yes. Delicious. It looks all great, doesn't it? Jesus Christ. Can I you get guys a big spoon for yes. the uh, stroganoff? Of course, I'll grab a and spoon. And nobody's eating but us. I'm embarrassed. I have a, we have a little uh, tzatziki it's gonna go. for huh? the hummus. A little Two tzatziki spoons. for the hummus. Gotcha. They like showing their food, too. Just oh, well, that's that. right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, I like to show this off, too, but I mean. Okay, now that I'm going to have my own show. I thought this was your show. Yeah, yeah now that I'm going to have my own show. This will be $100 for my <laughs> delightful. You're, you're you don't my need to worry about planet. it. <laughs> Your it, in your RV out front, you yes. have Skittles, M&Ms, and Perrier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that Thanks. what's on the rider? <laughs> what do you think? Great presentation. Yeah, I love this. So you like to do the sniff test, right? Go ahead and smell everything. Well, I smell this. And Are you smelling that? There's no smell. Doesn't do anything for you? I love wings. Okay. And you know what I like about wings? They're so animalistic. Oh. You know, I mean, you really can get in there. Yeah. Question though, a lot of seniors can't have wings just because of that. The the teeth Why? The teeth issue. Oh no. No. I'm working with half a molar. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll still get some. That I that I half a molar that I gotta get fixed tomorrow. You know. What are you gonna start with? You know, if you're hungry, you can figure out a way. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, you, yeah, you can gum it. Too. <laughs> okay, we can always cut this out, but out of respect. For Mr. Greek himself, <laughs> the Greek God. Oh boy, Steve <laughs> Levin. I, I didn't. I didn't realize, but I'll remember from now on. You didn't All know right. it was Greek? Yeah. Oh, I, I would have never guessed that. Here, let me get you. Let's trade. I would have never. Here. I would have never guessed that. Give it a go. Which one? The right here. Greg is intense, and I'm eating this summer. So, Steve, let's slow down here. Slow down. How would she approach this to get together the chef bite? Tell well, her what to do. You've got it. She's doing it exactly She's right. She's doing it right. Yeah, absolutely. Just right to the pita. All right, you guys, back to the show in just a second. But before that, it's my favorite time of the show. And you know what that means. Bread, specifically Aspen Baking Company. You guys, AspenBaking.com since 1994 here in Denver. They've been baking the freshest bread in the city. They do it right. They do it without the chemicals. They do it without the coloring. And they do it without uh, uh, freezing it. Some places will freeze your bread, man. Uh, that, that's all I'm saying. Um, talk to our buddy Jared Leonard over at Bud Long Hot Chicken. He uses their product. Chefs all around town use Aspen Baking, and that's what you want to do too. AspenBaking.com. You guys, I can't stress it enough. Let's go, bread. I love bread. If it's bread, you think Aspen Baking. AspenBaking.com. Hi, I'm Amber with Strohauer Farms. And I'm just here to remind you that the best potatoes are grown here in Colorado. Goodness elevated. 
Thanks for watching The Modern Eater Show. Hey, Zach Kreider here, Colorado Mills Sunflower Products out of Lamar, Colorado, your only local source grown from a local crop to produce a local oil for local chefs. You can find it at Shamrock Foods, What Chefs Want, Seattle Fish Company. Uh, let me try it one more time, then we'll see. Hey, restaurants, we're glad you're reopening from Colorado Mills Sunflower Oil. We'll see you soon. <laughs> First, we partner with the best farmers in the world, and then we tell them, we will take it all. Process whole spices daily, blend custom spices to order, keep it fresh, safe, and flavorful, all so that you can get back to doing what you do best. So whether you're a restaurant, a food manufacturer, or an at-home cook, be sure to visit The Spice Guy at www.thespiceguyco.com. Hey Modern Eater fans, I'm Don Trobo with The Annex by Ardent Mills, and I just wanted to give you a heads up about some of the great things we've got going on locally in the state. We're headquartered right here, and we're working with farmers in the San Luis Valley to bring you amazing Colorado quinoa. It's just like the South American stuff, but grown locally. We've got transitional wheat flour that's grown by farmers in Colorado and surrounding states who are in the process of, of turning their fields into organic. So we're taking that transitional wheat and turning into flour, and now it's available for you to cook and bake with. And last but not least, we're now cleaning grain berries in Denver. So things like spelt or wheat berries uh, or pearled barley, those are things that we're now doing right here locally and are available to you. Can't wait to share it with you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff Nations from Aspen Baking Company. It's really important right now to support local. That's why I support the Modern Eater. Now, back to the show. So, okay, you've got the, first of all, here's the hummus right here. Reapers. Roasted red pepper hummus. Okay. You got your spread. Throw a little tapenade on there. A little so bit of feta cheese. So what, what is it? What's the tapenade? Olive tapenade and a little bit of feta cheese. Okay, so I scrape it off the top? You can just do, yeah, yep, a little scoop. You. Like that? There yeah, you go. Yep, oh. yep. And the, ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. Ooh, is that goat cheese? That's feta cheese. Oh, that's Greek. You know, we're, that's we're going Greek, remember? Oh, that's right. Just go through it. Oh, I didn't know goat cheese was. Well, so Don't change your thought. Go ahead. We have Put a goat cheese there. as well. Now, yeah. Steve, the, the, the pita bread looks fresh, man. Uh, where are you getting the pita bread from? Uh, from Economy Greek Market here Love. locally. I want to do this, too. I that's like a, no, I don't know if you do that. Okay. I think because that That could have been a bite afterwards. No, it's cool and crisp. Okay. What do you think? I have What's a cucumber? <laughs> anyway. You have it your way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no rule book. There's nothing that says you got to do it our way. But I, as long as you like it, that's all that matters. You don't put cucumber on yours? I'm going to start. I think that's a great way to eat it. I bet you if those carrots were sliced thinner, well, you okay. could. Yeah. I'll let the kitchen know. You could rock it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I grew up on it. I get it. <laughs> he understands. How about you, Jay? You hungry, honey? <laughs> I'll take a bite of your huh? <laughs> what, what, what do you got right, right up there? I would never do this when I was a kid. You're right with the cucumber. Yeah, doesn't that help? So Different lot? texture. I think it's mm -hmm. excellent. Well, it gives it a little here. crisp. Yeah. And it's cool. Oh, my goodness. It's a great idea. That's put together perfectly. And then you lick your finger. Now, would you want a little tzatziki with that or We're not? We're bringing it. We're bringing it for you. Oh, my God. Oh. What is tzatziki? It's a uh, cucumber or it's a, a yogurt cucumber sauce. How do you properly oh. say it? Tzatziki. Tzatziki. 
T Z A T Z I K I. Taziki. 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 So kind of like Todd. Todd with a Z. Yep. Taziki. 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 Yeah. So now that might be some some way you could serve it. You're digging this, huh? I love it. I'm gonna try it again. Now here. It wasn't a blah. Like no, it, but no. This is like I'm going. We're back. three for three. <laughs> <laughs> We're three for three. Yeah. I think I might go home for the night. I yeah, am three really. for three at this table right now. Aren't you a fortunate guy? <laughs> the Greek gods are with oh, you. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> the Greek gods Meg, are with you. Did you get that tzatziki? Tzatziki. Yes. Please. Okay. I want to send you over to the wings next, but go ahead. <laughs> Revel in that delicious. I love it. Hummus. I love it. Oh, she likes it. Is the cucumber on the top? Makes it. Well, they brought out everything's fresh and crisp. I love it. It's good with the carrot. Yeah, I or love with the, it. With the, with cucumber. the cucumber. Yeah. Like, you could have that, and that'd be a very satisfying lunch. And very dietetic. I don't know about that. I mean. Thank you. There's your tzatziki. Who? Can we get another round of drinks? Yes, please. All right. No, no. No? No, no. Yeah, show up. Here. Not for Granny. I still got this much. What about a short one? Yeah, we can do a little one. Uh -uh. She'll be fine. Get her another tall one. All right. You know. She gets no choices in this. No. You guys have to remember that when you get older, your hang hangovers get older with you. But you got nothing to do the next day. You want to well, go Well, yeah, but, you mattress. know, it's really not fun to <laughs> lay in your recliner with, hey, your, news flash. with, with your head in a swing. At Steve and I's age, we still get hangovers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, not hangovers that last three days. All right, ready to try some wings? Oh, they do, actually. Who left? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's delicious. That's going home with us. I'm glad we enjoyed that. Okay. All right, wing time. Oh, I love the wings. In fact, I'm only going to have one, and you can have one. Okay. Because I'm taking the rest home. You got it. <laughs> you know, Done. I'm working my way in. <clears throat> Back to you, babe. To, <laughs> to have uh, dinner for the next three nights. You're, got, you're on the right track. Perfect. Yeah. Because that's another thing, you know, when you get to be my age... Cooking for one is not fun. Well, let us do it for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who's wanting? So, why are you anytime for I go out to eat, I sort of plan on what I order. Right. That I got stuff to take Left home. Over. Yeah, for the next night. Well, don't yeah. forget Saturday pork chop. Yeah, it, which can be kind of embarrassing, I guess. But. Steve, how do we make a Greek wing? Because I'm about to dip a wing into that uh, tzatziki. Tzatziki. Do it. I think that's a fantastic <laughs> I idea. Think don't I think that's a great idea, actually. This is that's tzatziki. tzatziki. It's with sour sour cream. So, so it can be either done with yogurt, yogurt Greek yogurt, oh. or sour cream. And this is Greek yogurt. That is sour cream. Wow. Oh. Yeah. You just well, that's, my mind with yeah. that. I hey, listen. Well, that's it. perfect it's for wings. It's got dill and lemon and garlic. Well, that's cucumber. perfect for wings. Okay, I think we have a hot and a... You have the uh, hot honey and the sweet and spicy sesame. Ooh. Which are two of my favorites. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> In the I like that sweet and sour <laughs> sesame. Can we get that drink? Hurry up. <laughs> ooh. All right, That's right. So do you like a drumstick or do you like a wing? You know, I, I like both. Do you? Okay. Yeah, well, what the hell? Okay. Oh, you're going with oh, the I love it. tzatziki. See, this might get... I'm going to send you a bill for this. All these changes you're going to make, like the cucumber on the hummus. I've got them right up here. <laughs> yeah. he does. This is Mr. Hospitality. He does it. Oh, nice. Right on the microphone. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. You go. Oh. What do you think? Delish. You like it on that? With that? Delish. I love it. <laughs> mm. What do you think of the wings? They go through great lengths to make those wings. Talk about how you go through great lengths with these wings. Uh, we smoke them, and then we flash fry them. And I think, I mean, truly, I think our wings are some of the best in town. I do, too. I love our wings. The connective tissue is already broken down. Yeah. You're, you could go like that with them. Last time I was here with Greg, 
you know, he always worries about how much exercise I get. How much what? You know, I mean, he, we're at the point now where he's becoming my father. Oh. So he, he made me go over and walk around and wash park with him, which was fine. And then we came over here for dinner. <laughs> and he ordered wings, and he wouldn't share them. Wouldn't, wouldn't share, share them? them? That's no. a bad son. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> I mean, I was like, what? A That's a bad son. My image just got shot of him. I know. I'm it's, sorry. It's done. Hey, so here's what I want you to do with the rest of this, is take it down your mouth like this and just drag your teeth. You want me to embarrass myself? No, I want you to. <laughs> yeah, but just drag your teeth and let's see if it falls right off the bone. Bring it forward. I think it will. Mm. Mm. Does it? Yep. Mm. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> well, the tutorial when you have, on how to eat a chicken wing right there. When you have a mouth like mine, you can pull anything off the bone. <laughs> Cut. <Yeah>. Cut. <laughs> yeah. You ready to go home? <laughs> Ticket. <laughs> Where's our oh, what's bad about that? Whoa. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Once again. <laughs> <laughs> really, what was bad about that? Nothing. Ready to try this? <laughs> right, changing the subject. <laughs> Ready to try this? What is that? Beef stroganoff. This is uh. the stroganoff. She can't get enough of the wings. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> There's more. I like, you know, like when I cook myself <laughs> a pork chop or I get beef, uh -huh. I always like it with a bone in. Yeah. <laughs> because the bone is really what carries the flavor. I agree. And there's nothing better than when you've eaten a pork chop or you've eaten a T-bone or something to be able to gnaw on that bone. No, I agree. What do you think? I agree. I agree. Wow. What do you think of this first edition? I it's love it. I love it. <laughs> Way better in the modern eater. I don't think this could be topped, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys go to sushi next. <laughs> oh, I, wa I want you to help. You might as well have me come with. I want you to help me learn to keep my mouth shut. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because. What do you think, guys? I love it. It's a good dinner. That reverb. Isn't that funny? Oh, my God. If he makes me go to sushi again. I'm going to kill myself. If he makes you what? If oh, Steve, i got to show you something. Sushi, Dan, I'm going to kill myself. This is the video we made today. <laughs> Just um, push play. <laughs> and we're worried about what you're saying <laughs> at the table right now. <laughs> well, he cut, he cut out the one where I flipped him the finger. <laughs> we got a lot of good roll. Let's get you a new plate, and we'll pull this that out. I will fine. be right back. I'll grab this you a plate. plate. No, no. This plate is fine. Okay. <laughs> this plate is I need to get you a plate. <laughs> you know, the more plates you use, the more plates you have to wash. It's okay. Well, it's not in my home. It's not. You get one plate. <laughs> Did you know the dishwasher? I look for things to put in the dishwasher. I'm sure as a single gal, you don't run the dishwasher, but more than once. I don't think my dishwasher's been run so for a year. So you can use more than one plate for a year, right? <laughs> <laughs> you need another plate to wash then. <laughs> I'll be right back. Thanks, man. Hey you guys, Jay here with the Modern Eater Show. Thanks for watching. Don't forget about our YouTube and Instagram channels. A lot of killer content over there. Throw us a subscribe on YouTube. Throw us a follow on Instagram. And thank you for supporting TME. We couldn't do this without our amazing sponsors, so let's check them out right now. Very proud to be part of the, the Modern Eater. And uh, chefs, restaurant owners, any food service operators, 
You know, I know right now that uh, delivery and carry out is bigger than ever, and we got you covered. Uh, Cambro uh, has a full line of uh, delivery and carry out items. More economical options are expanded polypropylene or EPP, a uh, nice insulated container. Uh, the Procard Ultra is really versatile. It's a great unit because you can actually store cold products down here, hot products up here. It's all 120. There's no refrigeration worries. It's all thermodynamics. Just let us know what your food service challenges are, what it is we can do to help you out, and there isn't anything that we can can't do for you. So uh, hope to see you over here at our facility in Park Hill soon and uh, stay safe out there. You know everybody with several million dollars of hard assets here insurance is very very important to us. Ewing Levitt covers it all. Machinery, building, workman's comp. Ewing Levitt's got us covered from the floor to the ceiling, from our alley even to the street. This divider, this press, my cooling conveyor, my oven. Ow, ow! Ewing Levitt covers our counter stacker and our employees too. If you need insurance, take it from Little Rich at Rockalitas. Call Ewing Levitt, they'll get you covered. Hey, this is Keegan from D-Bar in Denver. You guys might find it difficult to stay in touch and stay up to date with the ever-changing culinary scene in Colorado. It's almost impossible. Just tune in to the Modern Eater. These guys have their fingers on the pulse of what's happening in all of the food and beverage in all of Colorado. They're behind us. They understand the idea of shopping local and shopping small. To support them, you support us. This looks delicious. You like short rib? I like beef of any kind. And, stro and noodles, right? How do you go wrong? Yeah, really. What so do we got here? Yeah, he's fun. Steve? Yeah. So tell me the truth. What have you eaten that you haven't liked? So far? Yeah, thanks. Be right back. Uh, no, nothing. I probably wouldn't do this again. The tartar? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, are, stroganoff time. This, this I thought was real creative. You like that? Very creative, yeah. To take a Philly cheesesteak and put it in a in a wonton like that. Yeah, I thought that was very creative. With the horseradish. It's the beauty of the wonton. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah, with the horseradish sauce. Right. You love it. Yeah, that was great. That was great. The wings, I always love. I always love. But there's a difference between wings that are, because when you have wings like this and then you have so-so wings, you go. Oh, no, you're right. There's a lot of difference. Between yeah, them. like these are hitters. Yeah. Right? The hummus, I think you would eat that again. I liked it because I, when I got very creative and put the cucumber on it. You gave that us a great idea. That made all the difference. But the there world. was a lot of flavor going on in that, right? Right. Yeah. But I think the cool, crisp cucumber sure. made it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you ready to try this? I've got it right here. Where's the bread? So I'm going to eat with a knife. Mama, I think your fork's right here. Oh. Where, I th where's my what? I think you gotta have to try this bread because it looks like they put a lot of effort into that bread. Tell us about that bread, Steve. It's garlic. Yeah, it's garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what that is, Steve. Well, yeah, it's right. garlic bread. <laughs> yeah, don't let him drink another shot. So, we're gonna have to do one. Start with the bread, I agree. What do you think? That's that. Well, it, this isn't a pita bread. <laughs> no. Is that a pita bread? No. I like the flavor. The garlic. What would you guess it is? But what kind of bread is it? What do you think it is? Good. <laughs> Good. That's it. <laughs> it's not a focaccia. It's not. It's a, what is it? Focaccia? It's not focaccia. What is um, it? My brain just went south on me. It really, <laughs> honestly, I swear to God, it did. I'm just so flabbergasted that she liked the hummus that I ate. She liked it all. I know. 
I know. All right, bring it up with the noodles. Now, noodles, to me, they've got to be done just right. I like them. What do you think? I like those twirly noodles. Mm -hmm. Don't you? The twirlies, meaning the noodles? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That'll stick to your bones a little bit. I love the short rib. What's short the rib. process you do with that? What's the process? Uh, we braise it for about three hours, um, and it literally pulls apart. It's delicious. fantastic. Did you see that? Perfect. Mm. I love it. Mama's happy. Yeah. <laughs> the picky eater. Okay. Mm. Now let's have some dinner conversation since we've had some delicious food. Sure. What did you eat for the past year in the pandemic? TV dinners? Did you cook? What did you do for food? Tell me. What you make? Well, you know, it's terrible because I don't usually eat breakfast. I'm most time not lunch. I don't normally eat till four. A tostino? Well, <clears throat> I've had to start eating a little breakfast, you know, like an oatmeal or something, because I'm taking this new turmeric vitamin for my inflammation. <laughs> you know, God damn it. And you know, I'm gonna start writing this stuff off on my tax return, <laughs> under medical. <laughs> I am. You know, because you spent a lot of money on that stuff. Yeah. You know, and the doctor says, you know, take these vitamins for your eyes and take these vitamins for the, this and this. This ache and that pain and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that's off the subject. <laughs> What'd you cook? So Pandemic. usually I have like a Totino's pizza. Totino's. Or I eat a Marie Callender's. Or I eat a grilled cheese with tomato. Okay. Or I'll eat a, 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 a sandwich with chicken. Or, you know, whatever. You know, I've been into a, getting a little fried bologna. You like fried, fried bologna? I love bologna. I've never had it fried. When I was a kid. You wait till it bubbled, and then you cut it in the middle? Yeah, you have to because it kind of swells up like a... That's poor yeah. people's food, man. I never Single had mom food. Like I said, I love bologna. I've never had it fried. Ooh. Well, it's like a hot dog, but it's flat, you know. Okay. Flat dog. I don't eat well. If that's what the point he's trying to get to. Which I admit to, but it tastes okay. Okay, and, as and, long as you're and, happy, though. But the key to it is, the key to it is, it takes away my hunger. So here's the problem. We're loving everything tonight. I have a pretty good palate, and I go around a lot. I love their food. But are you just hungry, and you haven't eaten out in a while, and anything tastes good? Or? No, I'll tell you. I wish, I wish I had more opportunity to go out and eat good food. And I wish that I... I wish I didn't eat the way I do at home, but I do that because it's just me. Right. Yep. You know, it's not worth me. Well, look at all this food you have. You know, if I if I days. cook something like if I make spaghetti, mm -hmm. I end up giving it to Greg and I end up giving it to my neighbor because it's just way too much, or freezing it. Right. Okay. So. And it's really just not worth the effort to do that. All right, let's do this. As we wrap up the first vaccinated granny on the Modern Eater Show with myself, Greg Hollenbach, Patricia Peterson, vaccinated granny herself, <laughs> and Steve Limonitis, man, here at Reavers. Steve, Mr. Hospitality. No. How do, when, when we go into places and we look, first of all, what's the order? Service, food, atmosphere, atmosphere, atmosphere. I really think <laughs> Where do I you think go? The first thing. I, I Did he have that second tequila? <laughs> not yet. He has not yet, but he will here in a second. <laughs> yes. Here's to all of you guys. Other, yeah, absolutely. First other. vaccinate granny. Yeah. So you got my point. We got the three, right? Well, we've got the three, but I think the front door has got to hug you when you walk in. I think you're right. I mean, that's. I think that changes everything as soon as you walk in the door. How'd they score on that? What? Coming through the front door, the wait staff. Oh, Megan. I've always found your wait staff to be. That's great. Have great sense of humors and. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I'm never, and particularly, you know, because when I come in, I'll pick my seat, and they'll take me somewhere. I'll, right. No, and I want that one over yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. and they'll do that, yeah. That's important to her. Okay, so we're going to go through. But I have First one of all, more let's piece of, out. I have one more piece of you advice. Bet. Go ahead. For the, 
vaccinated grannies Look to the and grandpas of the world. When you go to get your vaccination, do yourself a favor. Don't always put it in the arm that you don't write with. Put it in the arm that you don't sleep on. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> excellent advice. Excellent. Absolutely, yeah. because you can count on the fact that your vaccination is going to make your arm hurt. And if you put it in the arm on the side that you sleep on, jacks you up. Yeah. <laughs> no sleep for you. Yeah. So that's my that's my tidbit. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, it doesn't matter if you can write. Right. You just yeah, want to exactly. sleep. What the hell? <laughs> At our age, we don't need to write yet. Yeah, good <laughs> advice. We just go into the banking app and, you know. Okay, but food. Food. Hospitality. Well, and I think that's the biggest thing because I don't think this is about service. I think this is truly about hospitality. I mean, the way we, in all our restaurants, you're eating in our home, to be perfectly honest with you. So, you know, I think everything works together. I agree. But I think first and foremost, it's got to hug you when you walk in the door, and then uh -huh. everything else kind of takes care of itself from there. She's yeah. going back in. She loves the food. Okay, so can we do oh, this? Wait a second. I got I, one more thing. All right, go say. ahead. The next spot that I really want to go to uh, with my friends is Logan Street. At where? Logan Street. Logan Street, yeah. I've heard great things about that. Place. Yeah, Logan Street. Well, it just seems interesting to me because I was a big Hang, I, I used to hang out a lot at Governor's Park. This really is this Casamigas? That's Casamigas. I can tell yeah. by the floor on this. Yeah. I used to hang out. That's there. my palate. I can tell what tequila he brought me in the Blanco. All right, are you ready? For what? We got three elements: hospitality, food, <laughs> and service. <laughs> That's right. What yeah. do you rate it? Here we are, at Reavers. What's the hospitality like to you? In fact, I'm a big one with reviews. And I've reviewed your restaurant of other times I've come, and they've been very good. Good, good. We take a lot. So of I didn't. I didn't know if you'd ever noticed or read your reviews. We read them. Do you? We do. Yeah. What do you think of the atmosphere? Once you turn the music down. He Her. didn't turn it down. He Don't lie to her. Was it the placebo effect? We did turn you it down. You did not. Oh, we did. See? She. And it's me. It actually was poor music at that time. So. I say just lie to the seniors. <laughs> but, but no. Just it tell them what they perfect. want to hear. Because <laughs> now we've been able to visit and talk. Right. You know, I hate nothing more than to go into a place where the music is pounding, the tables rumbling, and you're going, <laughs> and the people across her. There's still room on top of that bar, remember? Is that a young person's thing okay. nowadays? Last one vaccinated, Granny. How was the food? Oh, marginal. Did you see the wink? <laughs> Did you see the wink? <laughs> My soul hurts. Did you love the food? Did you, see, <laughs> Did you see the wink? <laughs> this has been fabulous. Cheers. Open my mind. Let's give it an overall. So you, you vaccinated. You all, you open my mind Beautiful. to Greek food. Well, give it an overall grade. What do you think? Say all the positive things that you like about Reavers. I like Reavers because when the music Megan, down, this is delightful. We're ending this thing right here, and we need you yes, because you're it. a wonderful part yeah. of this whole story. I love Reavers because <laughs> Thank they have you. servers that have a sense of humor. Very important. Thank Very you. Very important. Particularly dealing with me, because I could get pretty snappy. <laughs> like I said, I uh, love sass. I love it. There you go. She loves sass. I'm I a do. perfect customer. Absolutely. Food was fabulous. People were fabulous. And I just think you're a cutie patootie. <laughs> That's all we can do. So cute. <laughs> so for myself, Done. Greg Hollenbach and Jay Parker, who did a great job here, and Steve Lemonitas, as always. Thank you. Thank you. Patricia Peterson, you're fantastic. You're going to see a lot more from Vaccinated Granny. And Megan, thanks so much for the kind hospitality. Yeah. Anytime, guys. You're she amazing. That hair. We'll get you a red wig. Okay. Can, <laughs> you, can you send me your color? Don't you think I'd look cool with You that? would look beautiful. Would I look cool? With yes. That? That's it. Like a bad bitch. First yes. edition of Vaccinated Granny. Can you show us what the first edition looks like? Number one. Show me your number one. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up. Uh, we love it. You're number one. I don't, I the only one you need. You know, that's embarrassing because old people don't do that.
you said don't do call it. you old. Yeah, I can right? do it. Oh, you can do it. All right. <laughs> Fair That's enough. It. All right, cheers. We'll see Salud. you next cheers. time. Salud. I'm vaccinated, Granny. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. Anytime, guys. You're amazing. Babe. Cheers to you. <laughs>